Alistair Gordon for that eye-opening report on the physical law of electromagnetism. Now, it's over to the weather with our weatherman, Tom. Hi, Alistair. Welcome to Weather Central. Today, we're going to talk about the physical law of electromagnetism. Now, it's over to the weather with our weatherman, Tom. Thanks, Tom. Oop, I mean, <laughs> thanks, Tom. And I believe we're looking at conditions inside the Wilson's cloud chamber today. That's right, Tom. Today, inside the Wilson's cloud chamber experiment, we're going to see some extreme cool conditions in this area here. We'll have about 50 millimeters of liquid nitrogen dropping the temperature to 77 degrees Kelvin. I've placed some methanol in here and the cold temperatures will in turn create a super saturated solution of methanol inside the chamber. Methanol is what's known as a polar molecule, which means one side of it is slightly negative and one side of it is slightly positive, depending on where the electrons spend most of their time. The temperature conditions inside the chamber is such that the methanol vapor is very close to condensing into a liquid, but it doesn't quite get there until the right conditions are met, such as the polarity of the molecule, the temperature inside the chamber, and the thorium alloy which I've placed inside the chamber. When ionizing radiation in the form of alpha and beta particles from the thorium alloy are emitted, the methanol and air inside the chamber become ionized and therefore charged. Due to electrostatic attraction, the methanol molecules collect around the charged molecules. When water vapor in the sky condenses into a liquid, we see a cloud. Similarly, when methanol nucleates around a charged particle inside the chamber, it condenses into a methanol liquid which we can clearly see as a cloud. So there you have it Tom, very cold and 100% chance of precipitation and experimental particle physics. Great Tom, now it's over to Tom with the sport.